Well, today I am so excited to share with you my favorite time management tip because it has literally changed my life. I am not exaggerating. It allows me to work full time, to do blog and YouTube and uh, still take care of the kids and run our household without feeling like a crazy person. <laughs> and so I am so excited to share this with you. Well, hi, I'm Dawn from The Minimal Mom, and our family enjoys sharing about our minimalist lifestyle, tips and tricks for how you can simplify your home very quickly. And so if you're new to our channel, welcome. We'd love it if you'd subscribe so that we can keep hanging out together and you're notified when new videos are released. And so the question often comes up, how do you do it all? From working full time to having kids and managing their activities to running our household, keeping our house up, keeping it clean and not feeling anxious about it all, not always feeling like, we're behind and we're not doing things well. You know, in the past, I, I very clearly remember telling my sister, it is impossible to be an effective employee, a really good parent, and to keep your house clean. On any given week, something was always giving. Either I wasn't doing a good job at work, I was behind, or I felt like I was pacifying the kids with screens, we were eating out all the time, or I was having them stay at daycare longer. And then not to mention that most weeks our house was a mess. And so I very clearly remember that, just feeling like, there's not enough hours in the day, but I guess it is what it is. You know, if you look around, pretty much every mom is kind of going through the same things. And so I want to share with you this time management tip because next to simplifying our life, it has literally changed my life. And so what it has done is it has allowed me to be a really effective employee and now business owner. So Tom and I sell real estate full time as well. In addition, now we've kind of added on YouTube and then I'd always had my blog going on in the background too. And so it has allowed us to do that very effectively. I feel like we do an awesome job with our real estate clients, but I don't feel like I've had to sacrifice our family life in the meantime. I don't feel like I'm pacifying our kids with screens. I feel like I have the energy, even we're on summer vacation now to, we've been doing some educational stuff and worksheets and, and things our teachers recommended that we worked on over the summer. I actually feel like a good parent <laughs> and that's a really good feeling because it's been a long time coming. Okay, so now that I've sold you on this really great tip, it's gonna make you a better parent, a more effective employee and help you keep your house clean. What is it? So I like to call it the just one thing approach. And so basically what we do is we take a look at our whole to-do list and we say, if I could only do one thing today, what thing on my list would make me feel accomplished? Would make it feel like I still got something important done today because I'm like you in the past I would look at my to-do list and I would have that thing on there that might take like a half hour an hour maybe even up to two hours or half a day it was kind of daunting and I wasn't necessarily looking forward to it so I would start with the easy step I would make the dentist appointment I would sign my daughter up for camp I would call my grandma I would do all the other things on my list and keep pushing that thing I'd push it to the end of the day and on to the next day and the next day and so by the end of the day what would happen day after day when this kept happening, I would have this list that never got done, is that it made me feel like, oh, maybe I'm not good at managing my time. Maybe I'm not organized. Maybe I'm lazy. And it caused me to believe these things about myself that weren't actually true. The problem was I just wasn't prioritizing things correctly. But now when I look at my list, if I pick out the one thing, like this CMA that I need to do, I know that if the school nurse calls and I have to go pick up the kids and the rest of the day the day is shot, or um, someone stops in and I end up visiting for longer than I expect, or you know, just the things that come up that kind of hijack our day, if that happened, I could still consider my day a success because I did an important or a high impact item. So how do I choose that item? Well, usually the top priorities are business related, so real estate related. If anything going on for one of our current transactions, that's always at the top of the list. Uh, if it's something that impacts our income, yeah, that's at the top of the list. If it's something that's been hanging over my head, that's at the top of the list. If it's something that I know, if I imagine, if I got this done today, I'm gonna feel so good about myself. And so here's a recent example about that. We had a client, uh, they wanted us to do a CMA on their property, a competitive 
competitive market analysis to let them know what our opinion was of what their property was worth. And so they weren't in a hurry to sell. They said, you know, maybe in the next year or so, but they just wanted to have some kind of idea of what it's worth. And so I said, okay, I'll get it back to you next week. And so what did I do? Well, Monday, it's on my list, but I wasn't looking forward to it because I knew their property was very unique and there weren't gonna be really good comps or at least not comparables that would be easy to find. I'd have to do some digging and perhaps contact the county and different things. So it was gonna take a little longer than normal. So what did I do? I did the other things on my list around it, didn't get to it on Monday. So then I push it to Tuesday, Tuesday, same thing happens because I didn't want to do this. Then I push it to Wednesday, then to Thursday. All of a sudden, it's Friday afternoon. Now, I have to do this because I said, I told them, I'll have it to you next week. And so I finally take the time and I get it done. But the silly thing is, is that it actually only took about 45 minutes to complete it. And I actually found some really good comps for it. So I ended up feeling really good about it and I sent it off. But as I was thinking back on this, I'm like, why did I let this hang over my head all week? Because it actually created like a low lying anxiety all week knowing that, you know, oh, I shouldn't be working in the garden, I should be doing that. Oh, I shouldn't be taking time to play with the kids, I should be doing that. It was just always hanging over my head. And if I would have just done it on Monday, Monday morning, first thing in the morning, not only could I have checked it off my list, gotten it off my mind, off my plate for the week, but it also would have energized me to tackle other things on my list that maybe I wasn't looking forward to because I felt really good after I got it done. And so I had energy towards conquering other things then. And so my biggest encouragement to you is that when we go to make our to-do list, it's kind of deceiving because when we write out our list, everything looks equal, right? Like everything's in the same writing, in the same pen. And so calling my grandma looked about the same as doing that CMA. The problem is, is they're not at all equal when it comes to how we're gonna feel about ourselves when we get it done, or the impact that it's having on our family, on our business, on our work, on our performance, anything like that. But what I've found is that as I've been doing this consistently, I never get my whole to-do list done, never, ever. And I, that's not my goal anymore. That's a fool's errand, right? Because Every time I check two things off my list, another thing gets added. So I look at my to-do list now as revolving, as circular, as something that will absolutely never be complete because it's just the nature of being a parent and an employee and a homeowner or a student or a caregiver or any of the other roles that we play there's always new things coming onto our plate, and that's okay. So my to-do list is no longer the barometer of if I had a successful day or not, rather it's did I get those things done that make a big impact. And so now, as I've done this day after day and week after week, and I'm getting some really big wins under my belt, I feel like I'm a really good realtor and anyone would be lucky to have me on their side, or I'm actually a really awesome parent. I have the space now, I have the mental capacity to deal with the things that come up with kids like why don't I get a cell phone why do they get to go to that camp why do they get more screen time than me all these different things that come up as parents I feel like I have the space now to keep pushing the kids back outside to play to actually have legitimate answers for these questions I don't just say oh I don't want to talk about it right now or oh fine have it whatever you want fine have it I feel like I'm doing a much better job as a parent I feel like I'm a more effective employee or business owner I feel like our house is staying together I mean obviously that's because of simplifying it too. But I hope that you find that this is really helpful for you, that as we get some wins every single day, we start to feel really good about ourselves. The other thing I like about it is I like at the beginning of the day when I pick out the, the one thing I'm gonna focus on, I really like a singular focus and I feel like at any given time that's really all I can focus on whether it's a CMA or recording a video and that feels really good and then when I get that thing done then I can go to the next one thing and if I have time to do it that day great or if I decide you know what the rest of the stuff can wait I'm gonna do stuff with the kids or I'm gonna do something else that I enjoy it's really cool to feel like you have options instead of always feeling a day behind, always feeling a little bit anxious, a little bit frantic, wondering what else am I forgetting? And so I would love to know your favorite time management tips. If there's anything that's really clicked with you or been helpful, 
please share that down below. And then coming up next week, we'll talk about a little bit more how I organize my to-do list because like I said, it's kind of an ongoing thing. And so I do think it's important to have everything on the list. So how do we keep it organized but still have our singular focus? So we'll talk more about that coming up next week. A thumbs up is the best compliment you could give us and so kind of you. I hope you subscribe so that we can keep in touch and I will look forward to visiting with you again really soon.